This month in history, June. Hi everybody, welcome to our new episode of our mini-series, This Month in History. In these videos, we discuss a bunch of facts that occurred in the given month, and today is all about the month of June, more like prune, crash, June, more like baboon, please, June, more like pantaloons, June, more like an animated cartoon, because that's all you are. June? More like Splatoon! Okay, this intro has dragged on long enough. We need to start the episode. Do you think, Crash? June 1st. In 1967, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by the Beatles is released. In 1980, cable news network CNN begins broadcasting. June 2nd. In 1962, during the 1962 FIFA World Cup, Police had to intervene multiple times in fights between Chilean and Italian players in one of the most violent games of football history. In 1953, the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II takes place. June 3rd. In 2012, Tiger Woods' 73rd PGA Tour victory equals the record of Jack Nicklaus. In 2014, President Obama announces his plan for a $1 billion fund to increase deployment of US troops to Europe. June 4th. In 1928, the President of the Republic of China, Zheng Zuolin, is assassinated by Japanese agents. In 1998, Terry Nichols is sentenced to life in prison for his role in the Oklahoma City bombing. June 5th. In 1984, the Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi, orders an attack on the Golden Temple, the holiest side of the Sikh religion. Did you just say Gandhi? Yes, I did. As in Indira Gandhi, who happens to be a woman, not your beloved Mahatma Gandhi. Man, that obsession still freaks me out. Those delightful disc-shaped frames and that cute little bald head, though. Mm. In 2006, Serbia declares independence from the State Union of Serbia and Montenegro. June 6th. In 1993, Mongolia holds its first direct presidential elections. In 2016, major news outlets report Hillary Clinton as having become the presumptive nominee for US president, the first female in a major party to do so in the country's 240-year history. June 7th. In 1968, the body of assassinated US Senator Robert F. Kennedy lies in state at St. Patrick's Cathedral, New York. In 1975, the inaugural Cricket World Cup begins in England. June 8th. In 1992, the first World Ocean Day is celebrated, coinciding with the Earth Summit held in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. In 2007, Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia, is hit by the state's worst storms and flooding in 30 years, resulting in the death of nine people and the grounding of a trade ship, the MV Pasha Bolka. June 9th. In 1959, the USS George Washington is launched, the first nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine. In 1978, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints opens its priesthood to all worthy men, ending a 148-year-old policy of excluding black men. Hallelujah! June 10th! In 1991, 11-year-old J.C. Lee Dugard is kidnapped in South Lake Tahoe, California. She would remain a captive until 2009. In 2016, former The Voice contestant Christina Grimmie is fatally shot in Orlando, Florida following a concert. She died from her injuries at the age of 22. June 11th. In 1982, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, directed by Steven Spielberg, is released. In 2002, Antonio Meucci is acknowledged as the first inventor of the telephone by the United States Congress. June 12th, the day I thought Final Fantasy XII was coming out. Turns out it's next month. Oh well, what can you do? In 1942, Anne Frank receives a diary for her 13th birthday. In 1967, the United States Supreme Court declares all US state laws which prohibit interracial marriage to be unconstitutional. June 13th! In 1977, convicted Martin Luther King Jr. assassin James Earl Ray is recaptured after escaping from prison three days before. In 2013, Czech investigative authorities start a raid against organized crime, affecting the top levels of Czech politics. June 14th, baby. In 1959, the Disneyland monorail system, the first daily operating monorail system in the Western Hemisphere, opens to the public in Anaheim, California. In 1989, US President Ronald Reagan receives an honorary knighthood from Queen Elizabeth II. June 15th. In 1954, the Union of European Football Associations is formed in Basel, Switzerland. 
In 1970, cult leader Charles Manson goes on trial for the Sharon Tate murders. All right, all right, all right, let me take it from here, buddy. It's time for the life and death part of the video, yeah! Who are some notable people born in June, you ask? Nobody asked that. Pop singer and YouTuber Troy Sivan. Actor Johnny Depp. I used to love him so much, but you know, I feel like he's kind of gone downhill. US President Donald Trump. YouTube gamer Markiplier. And now for the more somber half of the segment, the following people unfortunately passed away in the month of June. Boxer Muhammad Ali, the truest superhero in life. Musician Ray Charles. Actor John Wayne. Pop singer Michael Jackson. Have you guys seen the video of all of Michael Jackson's grunts? It's hilarious. <laughs> what, no reference to Gandhi this time? Eh, I figured there was no need since we mentioned him earlier in the episode. Thank God for that. Anyway, moving on. June 16th. In 1903, the Ford Motor Company is incorporated. In 2016, Philadelphia becomes the first US state to pass a tax on sweetened drinks. June 17th, honey. In 1970, Edwin Land patents the Polaroid camera. In 1994, O.J. Simpson, after not turning himself in for murder charges, is chased by police in Los Angeles for 90 minutes before giving himself up on live TV. In 1858, Charles Darwin receives a paper from Alfred Russell Wallace that includes nearly identical conclusions about evolution as Darwin's own, prompting Darwin to publish his theory. In 1940, Winston Churchill performs his notable Finest Hour. June 19th. In 1978, Garfield, holder of the Guinness World Record for the world's most widely syndicated comic strip, makes its debut. In 1992, Batman Returns, starring Michael Keaton as Batman and Danny DeVito as the Penguin, is released. Fucking love Danny DeVito. In 1975, the film Jaws is released in the United States, becoming the highest grossing film of that time and starting the trend of films known as summer blockbusters. In 2003, the Wikimedia Foundation is founded in St. Petersburg, Florida. June 21st! In 2006, Pluto's newly discovered moons are officially named Nix and Hydra. In 2009, Greenland assumes self-governance. Go Greenland! Ain't no motherfucker holding you down! June 22nd. In 1984, Virgin Atlantic Airways launches with its first flight from London Heathrow Airport. In 1990, Adam Sandler joins Saturday Night Live. June 23rd. In 1955, Walt Disney's Lady and the Tramp is released. In 1980, The David Letterman Show makes its debut on NBC. June 24th. In 1949, the first television western, Hop Along Cassidy, is aired on NBC, starring William Boyd. In 2010, Julia Gillard assumes office as the first female Prime Minister of Australia. June 25th. In 1978, the rainbow flag representing gay pride is flown for the first time during the San Francisco Gay Freedom Day Parade. In 1981, Microsoft is restructured to become an incorporated business in its home state of Washington. June 26th. In 1906, the first Grand Prix motor racing event is held. In 2003, the US Supreme Court rules that gender-based sodomy laws are unconstitutional. June 27th. In 1979, boxer Muhammad Ali confirms that his third retirement is final. But it isn't. In 2007, Tony Blair resigns as British Prime Minister, a position that he had held since 1997. June 28th, I thought I'd stop that. June. I was kind of thinking of jitterbug. I'll stop. In 1964, Malcolm X forms the Organization of Afro-American Unity. In 1996, The Nutty Professor, starring Eddie Murphy, is released. Some things are better off remaining unreleased to the public. For example, personal details, children from the basement, episodes of Culture Crash, Culture's Penis, and most certainly, The Nutty Fucking Professor. June 29th. In 2000, Eminem's mother goes to court claiming defamation of character in a $10 million civil suit, taking exception to her son claiming that she smokes more dope than he does in his song, My Name Is. In 2007, Apple Inc. releases its first mobile phone, the iPhone. June 30th! In 1984, Pierre Trudeau officially steps down as Prime Minister of Canada after serving two separate terms for a total of 15 years. In 1990, East Germany and West Germany merged their economies. 
Is that all of it? Crash, you really should know how many days are in a month. Actually, let's see if you know this. How many days are in the next month? Damn it, Crash. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this installment of our mini-series. We'll no doubt be back with another one next month. See you then. Oh, Culture Crash on